Welcome, my name is Kaylee O'Donnell from the technical documentation team at MSCRM add-ons. And today I'm gonna to go over the uses and capabilities of the Documents Core Pack Connector and how to easily activate it. Now let's start with what the Documents Core Pack Connector is and what it does. The DCP connector allows you to fully utilize DCP functionality to generate and process documents in Power Automate. You can automate your document processes and flows, add document options to your Canvas apps, and add document capabilities to your Power Page portals. The most common use case that we see for the connector is for document automation. And under this, we often see the generation of payment shipping confirmations, quote and invoice automation, approval flows of documents, et cetera. There are several key benefits to consider for the connector. First of all, you're able to save on time, money, and other resources through the automation of your document processes. You're also able to reduce your user workload and therefore also reduce the transfer manual errors. In addition, you can optimize your customer experience by maintaining consistency and timeliness across all generated documents. And finally, the connector is scalable, so it can help you generate five to five million documents and fit all your requirements and needs. It is also key to note that the connector is free to use for any customer with an existing subscription, so any existing customer can make use of the connector for no additional cost. Now that you know a bit more about what the connector is and what it does, I'll walk you through how to easily activate it. Okay, so before we get started, it is important to make sure that your service is hosted on MSCRM add-ons as this is a requirement to use the connector. I already have this prerequisite met though, so we can go ahead and move forward with activating our, activating our DCP connector. So we're gonna start off in the online service configuration, which is where you can view all of your current services. And from here, we're going to obtain an API key, which will be in the next step used to communicate between our service and MS Flow. So to obtain that key, I'm gonna open up a service here and then you can view an overview for your service, but I'm gonna navigate down to Power Automate on this left-hand bar. And here we'll be able to use our service API key and easily copy it. So I will do so here. And then our next step will take place in Power Automate. So I'm gonna navigate over there. Great, so I've already started a very simple flow with the trigger being when a row is added, modified, or deleted, but it can really be whatever you'd like. The key part here is to add an action specifically a Documents Core Pack action. So I'm gonna search for the Documents Core Pack connector here. And it is key to note that our connector is certified by Microsoft, so it will be readily and easily available in your environment. And now you can select really any Documents Core Pack um, action of your choosing. Um, so I'll go ahead and just select this first one here. And since I do not yet have a connection established for this environment, we can go ahead and do that here. So first we'll give our connector a name. I'll make it very simple and call it our Documents Core Pack Connector. And then here you simply paste that API key that we obtained for our, from our online service config. Perfect, so next all you would do is select Create New and then you would be ready to use all DCP actions of the Documents Core Pack Connector in MS Flow. So that's quite simple and that covers all the steps of activating the connector. So next I'm going to walk you through an example of how to use the connector in Flow to for document automation and generation. All right, so now that we've finished setting up that DCP connector, I'll walk you through an example on how to use it. For this example, I'll show you how to generate and attach a document to a Dynamics 365 record via the DCP connector and MS Flow. Specifically for this example, the trigger will be when a quote is activated and that will lead the document to be generated and attached to the potential customer contact on the quote record. Now let's get started. Okay, so to start off with our example, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new flow in Power Automate for us. I'll start a new automated cloud flow and our name will be quite simple. We'll just call it DCP connector practice. <laughs> right there. Okay, um, and then we're going to have our trigger be. Our trigger is when a row quote is activated. So I'll start with when a row is added, modified or deleted. Perfect, okay. And then from here, we can start building out our flow. Okay, so our change type will be when a quote is modified, and then our table name will, of course, be quotes. Here we go. Okay, and then the scope will keep this to the organization level. And now we want to specify that not only when a quote is modified, when it is specifically activated. So to specify this, I'll type state code in for select, select columns, and we'll filter the rows to where the state code equals one as this is more fancy terminology to simply mean that a quote is activated when C code equals one. Okay, great. So this first step is done. So next I'm gonna add another action and this will be one of our documents core pack actions. It'll be our create document action. 
So let me find that here. I'll scroll down to create document here. Perfect. Okay, so then from here, we select our template first. I already have a handy quote template I would like us to use. So I will scroll down here to do, here we go. Here's the template I'd like to use. And then for the row ID, we'll select quotes. Quotes. Perfect. And then for our file type, I'll just keep this as a PDF. Okay, so now we have set our trigger to when the quote is activated. And now we have set the create document action. Our next step is to attach this final document to the potential customer contact on the quote record. And there's two ways to go about this. You could go here and add another document's core pack action um, to attach it, or I'll take the slightly simpler approach. And on this create document step, we can add parameters to then attach the document. Okay, so here I'm gonna go ahead and add two parameters. We'll add the attached row ID and attached table. For the attached row ID, we're gonna select the potential customer contact here. And then for the attached to table, we're gonna use the drop down this time to select contact. And we'll scroll through here. Find, there we are. And here we go, contact. Perfect. So now that we have added those two parameters, it is telling the um, Documents Core Pack connector to attach our uh, document to the potential customer contact on the core. Perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and save our flow here. And once that finishes saving, we're gonna go ahead and test it to make sure it's working as planned. Okay, this is just be taking a second. Perfect, okay, so all saved. So now I'm gonna select this test button. And then from here, we're gonna to choose to manually perform the action to trigger it, which is activating the quote. And then we hit test. So in order to perform this trigger, I'm gonna hop over to my Dynamics 365 environment right over here. And from here, we're gonna scroll down to quotes. And then from quotes, I'm gonna choose a quote that is not active yet. So I'll just select this first one. And then once this finishes loading, we can go to the command bar, go to the more tab and activate the quote from here. Perfect. And activate quote, okay. So once I receive the message that has been activated successfully, we'll hop back over to MS Flow and there's our success the notification. So we're going back to flow now. And here we're going to make sure that the flow is running correctly. So we'll make sure that it was able to process the trigger, acknowledge trigger, and here we go, and start the flow. So the first action has been completed, as you see by the green check mark, and the second one as well. So it should have ran successfully. So I'm going to go back to our Dynamics 365 environment now. And on this quote, I'm going to scroll down to the potential customer contact, which is Juan Perez. I'm going to open up the details for this contact. And then on a note in the timeline, we should be able to view um, the completed quote document that has been attached. So I'm gonna scroll down to our timeline here and moment of truth. Perfect, here it is. Here is our note that has been generated on the potential customer contact record. And I'm gonna open this up for us to make sure that it is the quote document that we were anticipating. Give it a moment. And here we are, let's see. So the customer, the information. Okay, so this is um, a very basic quote that I use for a quote template and everything is looking as expected. Um, so everything in our flow did seem to run correctly and we were able to use Documents Core Pack Connector to generate a document in MFS Flow and attach it in the Dynamics 365 record. So that concludes my demo on how to use the Documents Core Pack Connector. I hope I answered all questions, but if not, as always, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to avoid missing updates in the future. Thank you all for your time.